I'm ready to add the very special detail on this particular cushion, which is cross stitch. And I'm going to do the cross stitch over the seams. I'm going to show you how to do it very quickly rather than stitch by stitch. Um, and I'm going to use a white thread. Of course, you could use a coloured thread as well. So I'll show you how that looks. So just a real contrast to make it a real splash of colour that could perhaps pick out some tone in your decor. But the first thing to do is to press those seams. And you should always press a seam before you stitch over it again. I'm now going to do the cross stitch. And I'm going to do it very quickly in rows as opposed to each stitch as a cross. So I put a knot in my thread and come up from the underside. The seam is down here. So I'm just going to go across and I'm actually doing stitches that are going to be quite big and they are about a quarter of an inch or six millimetres either side of the seam. So I've gone from the top left down to the bottom right, straight across to the left again, pull that through and go down again. And so I'm just going to start off with a series of diagonal lines and I keep on going down and you can do all of the seams some of the seams you can do this in a thread color like I have done here which is a white to pick up the white stripe or of course you can do it in a contrast color if you're not working with a nice stripe fabric like this you could of course draw lines either side of the seam so that you can follow a nice neat line and try and keep those crosses nice and even. So if I just do one more and then I'll start going back the other way just to show you how to get the cross stitch. So I would go all the way down but I'm just going to show you how to get the cross. So having gone to the bottom I'm going to go back up so this time I'm going from the bottom left to the top right almost in the same hole that I made for the last diagonal and then across. Bottom, top right and across. So as I'm pulling it through I'm trying not to pull it too tight so I'm, every now and then I'm it. Now, I'm using embroidery floss and I'm using the six strands. In the pattern it says to use three strands, so you could use it finer. Or, if you don't want to use the stranded thread like this, you could actually use a crochet cotton. So it's quite a nice thick cotton to make them really stand out. So I've done a couple of examples of cross stitching. Here I've used the white, so it picks up the white in the cushion. And here I've used a real contrast of red to really zing out. So it's entirely up to you what you do. And also the size of the cross stitches. So here they're fairly small and neat. They've been pressed as well. Or on the white again, you can see they're bigger. So again, you decide, that's up to you. It's the beauty of making your own things. <laughs>